Hey everyone, I got a package in the mail today, and as you can tell from the title, I got the outside box. So, um, while I open this, let me tell you a little bit about the outside box. Uh, the outside box is basically a box to get you outside. It's whatever I need for a certain outdoor activity, uh, every, well, everything I, sh I need should be included in this box. So let's get it open and see what this month's theme is. This box, I do tend to uh, kind of peek because let's see what it is. Alright, so inside, you know, you get uh, tissue paper. It's very nicely packed. Everything in here is very neat. I see something red right out the gate. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I got uh, Lisa's card. So, uh, which I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, it also has the website on there if it focuses. Uh, it tells you about the outside, or you can go to theoutsidebox.com. And that is where you can also get your own outside box. On the back of the card, there is a website, uh, Kite Flying 101, and resources. So, that'll probably be very helpful. <clears throat> so, in case, well, obviously nobody knows because nobody really knows me that well. Um, I don't think I've ever actually been able to get a kite off the ground. So, uh, <laughs> is this video too embarrassing? me? Uh, I am actually going to see if I can go outside and try to fly this, though. But, um... Apologies in advance, um, I cannot kite fly. So my battery died, um, switched out the battery, forgot to hit record, but I didn't get very far before my camera shut off again. So all I got out of there so far was the Prism Bora 2 Blaze Kite. It says easy to fly, frameless parafoil kite. So I'm going to hold them to that because I really think I'm bad at flying kites, so we will see how this goes. Okay, so uh, here's the bag. I believe that must be what the kite looks like inside, and this is the string, it looks like. Just the, right there is the string. So on the back it has first flight information, uh, some good tips, I guess, for even for myself that is really bad at flying kites. I also have a website here that I can go to. What else is in here? Okay, okay I guess this is a ripstop kite sandbag. Okay, wow, that is huge. Uh, I don't even know how big that is, but it definitely goes, uh, it's definitely pretty large in size. It says the outside box right there on it. I guess, oh, well, I guess I won't be using this today because I'm don't. i not anywhere near sand, but I guess if you're on the beach and you want to, uh, you know, you put your kite in the air and you just want it to be in the air while you're relaxed on the beach, Fill this bad boy here with a bunch of sand, um, tie it off, tie the kite to it, and your kite just floats there while you're relaxing, listening to the great ocean water, and uh, enjoying the sun. And what else do they give us here? Sunsect. Protection from sun and insects. Okay. Uh, I have this already from another subscription box, but um, still love it. We'll never say no to things like this because, you know, while you're outside, uh, you, there's bugs. And I hate bugs. They get all over me. And it also has sunscreen in it, which is very important. Just protect yourself with sunscreen. Alright, so I'm out here in the field with the kite. I just took it out of the bag. Uh, no idea what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I guess that's the tail. I'll throw that out there. Okay, so uh, it looks like the string has this hook on it, and I think I'm supposed to just take this hook and put it on the end of the kite. Okay. So on my walk over here, there was actually some wind. And now that I'm out here trying to fly the kite, there is no wind. Uh, Rory's over here trying to get it up off the ground, which I'll show you in a moment. I just tried to run around with it. I, I can't get this kite off the ground, but like I told you, I can't fly kites. So while we're waiting for the wind to pick up, I just want to show you how... I have no idea how long this kite is. But there's the top with the strings, and it's got a big old tail. How long do you think that is? Eight feet. Eight feet? 
on wind. So I'm waiting for the wind. I also read on their website that April is National Kite Flying Month. Did not know that. Things you learn. Rory's not doing too bad. I mean, there's no breeze right now. Like, nothing going on. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> Look at that tail move, that is cool. Okay, so Rory's much better at getting the kite in the air than me, but I already knew that's so why I brought him along. Uh, actually, I'm really impressed with that kite. There is hardly any breeze out here at all, and it's still able to kind of get up there and stay for a little bit, so if we even had a really good breeze, that kite would be up there. It'd be a good kite to fly. Alright guys, so that is the outside box for the month of March. The theme is kite flying. If you want to do your own outside box, just go to theoutsidebox.com. Uh, there's different months that you can buy on there, and I think if you've ever liked any of the previous boxes I've opened, I, I don't know if they've done it yet, but I believe there's going to be a way that you can um, buy those previous boxes if you just want one of those. So overall, I think the kite was really good quality. Um, can't wait to actually try it on a really windy day. The sun's about to set. We're gonna go inside since we can't really play with the kite too much more. And uh, I guess we'll see you when I get the next box. Bye.